Hello everybody! I'm fully aware this isn't the kind of video that I normally make, but it's uh, my channel and you can suck my dick! <laughs> so, has been hotel. I have to fucking talk about this shit. And don't worry, normal videos are coming back soon. School happens, life happens, shit gets messy. I'm not abandoning you. Kiss kiss, just wait for, wait for daddy to come home. <laughs> oh fuck. I'm not gonna edit this. I've never, like, done a video that I haven't edited before, but I gotta talk about this shit. So, if you don't know, Has Been Hotel is a show, fuck off phone, that was produced by Vivian Madrano. It was in a pilot on YouTube originally, and I really liked it. There were definitely a lot of issues with the show from the pilot, but overall, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the cast. The music was great. Loved the animation. And it got picked up for a full series by Amazon. And so, first of all, they replaced all the voice actors, which I'm just going to come out and say, what the fuck is with that shit? I, the new voice actors are good, but you can't beat the old ones, unfortunately. They are nothing short of iconic and the new ones kind of sound like they're doing impressions of the old ones, which is because they are. So that's a bit strange to start off with. Overall, I like the show, but there are quite a few. I just got to blow some steam off for, for, for this shit. Um, I like the show, but there are some fatal flaws in it that I feel need to be fixed. So... All right, let's start with the good. Have I already said the good? I don't give a fuck. I'm just talking to myself naked in my room. Uh, <laughs> um, so the character design, I very much enjoy. I very much enjoy the animation. The music is quite, quite... All right, let's just get to the fucking killing blow of this. Like, the show needs to slow the fuck down. Like, I'm. we're six episodes in, and it feels like... It's been six months in the show, and it's been two and a half hours in real life. We've gone through so much shit. It's insane. I mean, all these ideas, all the... Oh, yeah, spoilers, by the way. You know, you got Vaggy being an angel. You've got the extermination. You've got Alistair's plans. Apparently, someone owns Alistair. Like... Fucking hell, the, the death of the angel? You remember that shit? That was something cool. And they revealed the mystery on the... Was it second or third? It was the third fucking episode. Like, what the fuck, people? These can be season-long arcs. Angel dust in Valentino. That could have been a season. Vaggy being in it. Shut the fuck up, phone. Vaggy and being an angel. That could have been a season. The extermination. That could have been a season. It has been six episodes and we are going at such a breakneck pace that it's... I mean, it's absurd, but I do really like what we've been getting so far. I'm not going to say it's bad because it's not, but I mean, slow the fuck down we have gone through what roughly i could estimate as you know two and a half seasons worth of material in six episodes and nothing has any time to breathe we're just breezing through everything and i don't know if i've already said that or not but it's just insane to me how uh, like i can't keep up i'm gonna have whiplash oh my god and speaking of Whiplash, can we please talk about episode four, which was probably my s uh, third favorite, uh, second, second or third favorite episode of the entire show. I mean, Jesus Christ, episodes one through three, it's a, you know, it's a raunchy comedy. It's kind of like a haha -ha funny, let's all have a good time sort of thing. And, and then in episode four, Jesus Christ, what the hell is with the tone? We've, we've gone from like... Oh, Alistair being a silly boy and Nifty being weird and fuck and shit and poo to, hey, you want to see a guy get ass raped? I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry, but like the tonal shift gave me such whiplash. It was insanity, but like, I still really liked it. Attic was a bop and loser was a fucking bop. I guess I could talk about the music. Yeah, I'll talk about the music. So, episode one, this is just going to be rambly as shit, so please get used to this shit. Episode one had Happy Day in Hell, which I really liked the song, but what the fuck was that animation? Like, seriously. It, the camera was giving me a headache. 
it, it was so nicely animated, and the camera was just like uh, operated by like a narcoleptic fucking child. I don't even know. It was zip. Well, that's not what narcoleptic means. Uh, by an autistic child. That, that works. Yeah, that works. It was just whipping around and like all kinds of shit, and it was just so weird. Then you get Hell is Forever, which I really did like. Adam was not funny at all in the first episode to me, but um, the song was song was a fucking bop. I'll give it that much. Uh, episode two, we have Alistair versus Vox stayed gone, which is when I really started thinking like, all right, I'm going to fucking love this show because it was an absolute bop. And then you had Sorry, which was terrible. That wasn't even really a song. It was like, well, what, 30 seconds? It was it was kind of strange. I forgot Serpentius was a character at all, if I'm being completely honest. But we've already established, you know, not enough time to let everything breathe. And then episode three comes along, and there was that chick that killed the angel. God, what was her name? Carmilla? Carmilla? Uh, I'm a... Uh, Carmilla, I just got, got done Googling. I had to move the mic. Sorry if the audio sounds different. Uh, but, but Carmilla, Carmilla Carmine, that was her name. And she killed the angel, and that was, like, a really cool mystery that, like, the show just kind of decided to throw away. And then we got Respectless, which is a fucking bop, and I absolutely love that song. And then we got, um, Whatever It Takes, which, like... Vaggy, I don't know who the fuck you are, and you want to be Charlie's armor, and like, I guess, I guess that's probably my biggest issue with the show, is that it's a showcase of spectacular fucking moments, like, incredible moments of, like, character, and feeling, and music, and I feel nothing, because the show doesn't put in the effort to earn it, it just jumps into those moments, like, this is really big and emotional for Vaggy, and, like, I don't, like, I've never seen her, like, like do fucking anything, like, it's so much, Shh, tell don't show, or, fuck, wait, is that tell, it's so much tell and so little show, which is fine in the right circumstance, but, like, the show has these moments, and they're so good, but the lead up, it's just not there, and I don't, fucking care because you haven't earned me caring you kind of got to put the leg in work first Vivi you got to get me to introduce these characters you got to get me to do all this stuff I'll talk more about that later I don't know how long this video is going to be I'm just talking until I pass out <clears throat> all right that's episode three it's amusing episode four episode four bops absolute bops I loved poison I loved Loser Baby, fucking Keith, Keith Richards, is that his fucking name? The guy that plays Husk, I already talked about them replacing all the voice actors, which was a bitch move, by the way, but, I mean, if it's what it took, replacing Husk, I'm not gonna cry that much about it, I'll cry about replacing Angel Dust, though, I mean, the guy that plays him does a good job, but he's doing his best Angel Dust impression, like, that's not fucking Angel Dust, <laughs> Which is really weird for me to say, but, um, yeah, it's definitely strange. And then we have episode five. I'm still trying to talk about the music. Episode five, we have, um, we have, it's probably my favorite episode. We have the first song, which is the fucking song between Alistair and Lucifer, which, oh my god, I cannot put into words how much I love that. And getting to see Alistair say, haha, fuck you, which is the first time he's really sworn, was a huge hysterical moment I really liked. And the animation was flawless. And the guy that got to play Lucifer is really, really good. And then the second song, again, they didn't earn the fucking payoff. This is supposed to be Charlie, like, coming back and, oh, daddy, I love you, and everything's okay, and we're all gonna be okay, and everything, everything's gonna be great, and you're gonna get me to heaven, and you believe in me, and we've solved my daddy issues. Bitch, we have not seen the fucking daddy issues. This is the first episode that we've met the guy. You can't just, you can't just, like, you say things and then get payoff for them. I'm sorry, Vivian, that's not how you know, storytelling and animation works. And I don't mean to be mean, but like, I, I, 
this episode probably... Well, no, the next fucking music. Stay on music. The song was fine. It just wasn't earned. And then you have episode six, which I'm going to rip limb from fucking limb. So episode six is a good episode. Welcome to Heaven was a piece of shit song. I don't remember anything about it. And they had that like guy where he was done and he was all tired, like... <sighs> He was like panting and I'm like, oh wow, that's, is that supposed to be a joke? Like, I don't understand. I did really, really, really love seeing, um, Adam just walking around drinking a soda though. I did not expect that and I really liked it. One thing I did expect was, uh, Vaggy was an exterminator. I think just about anybody with a pair of fucking eyeballs and more than two brain cells suspected that. I mean, Charlie, I just, I don't want your people to be slaughtered like are you fucking kidding me and then you had the x over the eye and she used a spear i mean jesus christ they were cracking you over the head with a brick with this shit i mean it was just insane um but yeah they they could have saved that for oh i don't know season four they could have made um they, they I, I know it sounds like i really don't like the show and i don't not like it but there's just it's okay and I feel like it can be fantastic if Vivian just takes some of these, like, writing criticisms to heart. But I don't know if she will. I mean, Jesus, have you seen how she acts on Twitter? Mm, fucking ugh. But, um... Then the second song from episode six was, uh... Oh, shit, did I just unplug? No, it's fine. From episode six was... Not whatever it takes. It's like, um... It had that... It, it was like Charlie and... God, there was this angel bitch that they just introduced... Like, there were two, actually. Like, I, I, there was this kid angel that, like, sided with Charlie. And then there was... Wait, no, I'm talking about the music right now. I'm sorry. You have every right to dislike this video and comment go fuck yourself if you want. But I just gotta blow out the lines here for a bit. The music was good, but it wasn't earned, like everything else in this show, unfortunately. But, like, it was a good song. All right, that's the music. I gave my overall criticisms. I'm not editing this. I think I already said that. I'm just going to slap all this audio together, get like a gif of Alistair jerking off, and then I'll upload it to YouTube. <laughs> but, um, okay, I got the music. Let's just talk about the episodes, the actual episodes. I talked about the songs, and I described the episodes somewhat, but I just want to talk about the episodes themselves. Episode one should not have been episode one. There was no fucking reason for that to be episode one. They, they destroyed the premise of the hotel in the first episode. God, I know this sounds really negative. And it is right now, but I really do like the show and I'm doing this because I want it to get better so I can enjoy it. Like, the show is about redeeming demons, right? At this place called the Hasman Hotel. And in the first episode, they established that angels don't give a fuck like, angels aren't holy, and redemption is impossible, because angels are just bloodthirsty sociopaths? Okay, then. The pilot, with, with the whole, like, oh, we're making a commercial, that was kind of cute, but, eh, disposable. Um, holy shit, is that all that happened? Yeah, Adam wasn't funny. The whole, like, him being a dude bro was kind of funny, but it, it kind of got old fast for me. Uh, yeah, I guess that's episode one. Episode two is entirely made up in my mind about Vox versus Alistair. Oh my god, the fucking voice actor for Vox. I don't know who that man is, but he needs such a raise. It is unreal. He steals the show completely. God, there was this beef between Alistair and Vox, and there was something else that happened. But I didn't give a shit. There were... Oh, yeah, 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 the, the Pentius stuff. Was that what happened? Or, like, see what I'm saying? The moments. There's moments that I remember. But as a whole, the product is just kind of, you know, it's there. I don't know. Um, fuck. Let's see. There's episode two. I know there's Pentius. And, like, did it really revolve around the Vs that much? I remember... The song, and I remember Alistair fucking owning Vox. But there was more, there was a hole in the wall, and... Yeah, no, I think that was it. There was shit with Pentius that was really forgettable. There was a funny moment, but other than that, you know, like I said, a show of moments. Episode three... Oh my god, um... 
there was the meeting with all the overlords that I really liked, and the Eggy Boys were a bit interesting. And Charlie was doing something, right? She was doing those fucking, um, no, no, she wasn't doing the trust exercises there, because Alistair was there for the trust exercises. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I, I binged it all this morning. Uh, ooh, let's see. I'm going to my Think Palace. Uh, there was the Overlords, and there were the two songs that both had to do with the Overlords. And then, oh, yeah, 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 there was the training where, like, Charlie was going to let Vaggy take the reins and, like, oh, I'm, I'm trusting you to make this shit work. And she, like, they go to a BDSM club for some reason, which is, uh, it was okay. I don't really understand why Vaggy would listen to Angel when it's been established that, you know, not the biggest, like, fan of him. Like, we haven't seen them interact in, like, a positive way once. And then they went to the war zone, which, can I say that didn't look like a war zone at all? Because it didn't. Like, it just looked like hell. <laughs> at, at least the way the show described hell. And then, like, oh, we're all buddy-buddy now after one fucking episode, which was rushed. But, you know, it was fine. And then episode four, I really do like the show, by the way. I really, I just, I've got a lot to say about it. Because I want the show to improve. But I guess this might sound pretty negative. But I, I do recommend watching it. I think it's worth a watch. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, what comes next? Episode four, the ass rape episode. Um, episode four was really, really good, actually. I really did enjoy how Angel and Charlie... And I think they handled Angel's, like, pimp relationship with Valentino surprisingly well i mean it wasn't perfect but it wasn't bad at all husk and angel are fantastic together they don't belong inside of each other you fucking degenerates it's just not gonna happen but um overall yeah really strong episode in my opinion really strong premise i've already been over the tone shift i think but overall i enjoyed it uh episode five it's probably my favorite episode of the entire show. I really love Lucifer. I really liked everything that Alistair and Lucifer did. Uh, Mimsy was annoying as shit, but um, uh, I um, shit. I think my voice is starting to kind of get a little tired. I'm gonna. I might wrap this up soon. <laughs> I just had to rant about this for a bit. So thank you for listening to my rant. Uh, go watch the show. It's it's really 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 good i might make another video talking about it if i can get my breath back i've been running non-stop for a pretty damn long time it's been like what 16 17 minutes uh yeah go watch the show it's good despite the mountain of shit that i just threw onto it and um yeah uh, normal videos are coming back. Don't worry about that, my little... Mm, I'll talk to see it. Fuck.